Hey, today I have um, what is always so exciting. I have some new catalog stuff. So if you're a demonstrator, you will be able to order it in May. I'm not sure of the date. I don't think it's May 1st, but early May. If you are a customer in early June. Again, not sure of the date. I don't think it's June 1st. <laughs> I should have checked that before I got on here. But um, anyway, it's not real soon. So you have we have a little bit of time to get that figured out. Um, but I had demonstrators over yesterday. We got a giant box of stuff. You can watch the unboxing video on my YouTube. And I apologize. It's Facebook way. Oh no, maybe not. Because I think my Facebook one didn't work. So we had a bunch of cameras going. But the unboxing is there. Um, it's not my camera that ended up being posted on my YouTube. Because my Facebook did not save my video. Um, but we have a ton of stuff. So we got it on... Tuesday we did the unboxing which we had to drive to my girlfriend's to do it because we do it at the Wonder Basement and then we chatted for a while and ate lunch and then we got back to my house and we had about an hour we created three cards and then we went out that night and had a super beautiful summer evening preview in downtown Indy so that was Tuesday so we had three cards created with the stuff we literally well Heather had laid eyes on it but um, I had never even seen this stuff before. And then Wednesday we got up and on Wednesday we created 11 more cards. So we had 14 cards. And Wednesday afternoon we had cut the paper and had all of my demonstrator downline over to my house for dinner, dessert, and stamping of 14 projects. So I'm a little exhausted. So the first project I'm gonna show you is super, super simple. It could not be any simpler. Um, it's going to use the Daisy Lane and there are is this goes with the daisy punch that we currently have and you can see there's a a new smaller size daisy this stamp set really doesn't go with the paper but you know when you have pre-order you work with what you got here's a new in color and this is terracotta tile and you know orange is my favorite hue of color so this is right up my alley um and i did want to show you this is um the current cajun craze so sometimes when we get a new in color people are like well that's just like it is not just like um, it, they would look nice together and you know when autumn comes and we're making pumpkin and we're making all those fall cards there'll be some great options for you here but it's not just like it's a hue it actually is a little bit like calypso coral I should have brought a piece of that over let me see what pads I have laying here uh, I have flirty flamingo I have some oranges here flirty flamingo and petal pink so you can see they it's more on the lines of those really than what I consider terracotta. This looks to me like a new terracotta pot. Um, so terracotta is one of our new in colors. It's the only orange one. The other ones are on the um, blue and purple line of colors. So, and here's some of the paper that I'm gonna work with. This is called Mosaic Madness. And I did not go to on stage. So my girlfriend, Heather, that went, um, this was an all attendee giveaway. And I've been cleaning stamps so my hands are inky. Um, they got it at the end. So she has left me with her stack of paper. How nice is that? Don't you love um, friends who give you um, stamp stuff? So here's the one side of it. I'm going to show you these sides first. It does remind me um, of Italy. And I love Italy. Those of you maybe have been to... Um, I've been to Spain. But that's been a minute in my life. So it's not as fresh in my memory as Italy. But it reminds me of that. It reminds me of tile that I would like to have sometimes in my house. And my husband says no because it's too expensive. So it's got some fun patterns. So this side's really pretty. But then when you flip it over, that's when the magic happens. So all this, all the other opposite sides. I um, hope you can see them. It's, we had two glorious days and now we're back to rain. Because you know it's spring. And April showers bring May flowers. So it's showering. And it is awful, gloomy, horrible outside. So I don't have any sun to show you. But they all have um, a shimmer coat to them. It's a specialty line of designer series paper. I have absolutely nothing on my desk. Which is weird. It's weird for me because everything, when you um, start creating from nothing, I kind of moved everything and cleared it off so we would be able to come in here and create. And then everything got taken downstairs. So nothing in my office is where it goes. It's not necessarily, it was all the way cleaned up before everybody came, and now it's just all the way not put back together. It's actually clean, it's just not, nothing was where it goes. This one, this pattern actually reminds me of Lucky shirts. I'm a real big Lucky 
clothing brand fan. And I believe I have some shirts like this. It harkens back to my, um, you know, second grade days in 1972. Um, yeah, or to, um, like, Navajo Indian kind of things. Really pretty. And I, I hope you can see the shimmer because it's super, super pretty. And then this one, um, it would go with the Tropical Chic a little bit that I've been using a lot. And I still have one more card in that series to go. I got, I got so many things to show you guys. I have at least 15 videos and um, no days. <laughs> I do have days. I'm just tired and Easter's coming up and there's so many things to do. And so many cards in so little time. So let's get to this one. So I have a half a piece of terracotta tile. Like I said, this is a super easy card. No die cut machine, no. There's hardly any stamping. But there is stamping, and when you create, um, Heather's not stamped for long, and oh mercy me, did I not bring any adhesive up here? I thought I brought adhesive, because you know I've taken everything I own downstairs. We may have to, oh, there it is. Um, Heather is a newer demonstrator, and so when she was here to watch me create, we've not stamped together, together before. This was our first time stamping together. This is not normally how I create, because you work with what you have and try to try to pull in as much new product as you can so everybody gets to see a little bit of everything. Um, so the stamp set, again, doesn't really go with the stamp set, but we're gonna make it work because I wanted to use the new stamp set and I wanted stamps with this and she didn't, there are stamps that go with it, but she just didn't get them. Um, so this is Garden Green and I liked that it was Garden Green because I don't use, that's not a color I use very often. So I've just cut this four and five and a quarter, and then the other one's a quarter inch smaller. So just put that on there. And that's our background. And then for the inside of the card, we have the moments in my life, the best moments in my life happen with you. I'm tired. Stamping that many cards takes it out of you. It's not, it wasn't only stamping, although I didn't do a lot of the cutting. We had a process going to get, to start from scratch when nothing's even in your head because we didn't know what the stamp sets were going to look like. We didn't have any idea what the paper or the colors were. So to stamp, start from total scratch, it was impressive. We, I must say, we were impressive. Um, to get it all done and have all the paper cut for as many people as we had over, um, there were like 11. So to have all that paper cut and have all that done. So I'm just gonna stamp this um, big stamp. It's really pretty, it's got some nice detail. It's a daisy, and again, if you saw it right off, you wouldn't say, I'm gonna put this daisy with that mosaic paper, but we make it work. So creating for Heather this time was um, not the way I do it because you sit what you have and you make it work. And we weren't even sure sometimes that the sweets went together because we started out the day super organized and everything stacked up and in about 10 minutes, it was not organized anymore. So this is one of the hummingbirds out of the paper. It's one of the glossy ones. There's non-glossy on one side and glossy on the other. And I wanted to use the non-glossy so she got to see a little bit of my um, creating technique. So my goal was to use the non-glossy so the flower kind of popped. But to cut all those up for as many people as we were having come, it was going to, you know, use up all the new paper. And the other side of the non-glossy hummingbirds is beautiful. So I didn't want to waste the non-glossy side. By using, cutting the glossy hummingbirds, we were cutting a non-glossy side of the, so that was how the decision was made. It had, didn't have much to do with art. It had everything to do with not wasting beautiful designer series paper. So sometimes that's how we create. So I'm just cutting him out. He's, um, it's like so saffron maybe, a really light so saffron around him. So it's really easy to cut him. So there he's all ready. Then I have this, this is probably my favorite piece in it. It's the terracotta. And it's really, that one really does look like terracotta tile. So I'm gonna punch this here. And then I'm gonna punch the one I stamped. And this is on shimmer white paper. We, we went through 
packages and packages of shimmer white paper to make these cards. So all of the cards that I'm going to be showing you, they're all shimmery. They're all beautiful. So pop this one out. And then these are one of, I don't even need that. That's out of another project. That's what happens when you pull buckets up super fast. I should do a live video of the mess that is still downstairs. We had delicious cupcakes. We had our favorite pizza. So these are called Perennial Essence, which is one of the new collections, Floral Centers. And if you can see them, they remind me, like if you go to the fake flower department at um, one of the craft stores or a floral store, and these things fall on the floor out of the fake flowers, that's kind of what they look like. But they are amazing to stick on your card. So just take these. You're just gonna, oh, I do need that stuff for the card. I'm so confused. So the dimensional tape I just moved out and I'll tell you what it is in a second. So just take these and just use your hand to kind of gently roll them up. And then all the hummingbirds go a different way. So you need to take your hummingbird and figure out where he needs to go. So he's gonna kind of cut like this. I'm gonna stick. I didn't have a full piece of this paper to show you. So when I showed you the paper, you didn't see it because this was about all we have left because everybody stamped with it. And I'll show you my other hummingbird on the original card that I made when I designed it because it goes a completely different direction. So my flower placement is different. So again, just kind of roll these up with your fingers. If you do it with scissors, sometimes you can get a line in them. If you do it with your fingers, it eliminates any line. And just another piece of adhesive here. Everybody's been texting today because people left adhesives, people left, have left projects, so I just keep telling them it's all downstairs. It's all still in the mess. So eventually I will find everybody's things that you left here. So these little flower centers, they have very self-adhesive, just pull them off. And it just adds some great texture, especially with the shimmery that we have going on in this card. And I don't know how many come in this, a lot. Um, because everybody stamped them last night and we still have some left. Okay, so this that I didn't think I did needed, we do. It is the same as the foam strips or as dimensionals. And it is from a past paper pumpkin. And you know, you hate to throw away the things because when you, if you're a paper pumpkin subscriber, you know that every month you get leftover pieces of this kind of stuff. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to use it instead of my foam strip just because I don't want it to waste. Um, and because we need to stack it. So what you want to do is kind of lay him on here. I'm going to flip it back around my direction. Where he needs to be to look like he's getting stay here. And it's just, it's the exact same as the dimension. It's dimensional. It's just a different shape. So pull that off. So he kind of goes here. And he needs maybe one more. So see, I didn't want to waste. I didn't want to waste, and everybody needed, my other one needs three high because of where he is. I didn't want to just keep wasting dimensionals to build it up. So this, and you can see this, I think it was for maybe a Christmas shaker card. So you can just cut it to be giant pieces of it. And if you don't have that, then just use dimensionals and just stack it up. But now he is higher than my flower because the flower is kind of high with all those little. So there's some shimmer, some shine, some new designer series paper, a new stamp set. If we, I had had the new punch, I would have used the smaller flower, maybe or maybe not. Here's the other one, and you can see the hummingbird just goes a different way, a little bit of a different print. Um, but I hope you this fun card. As you can see, it's super fast. I've been yakking on, and it's only 14 minutes, so it doesn't take long at all. And because that dimensional stuff is so strong. If, you're, if you were going to mail it, I would take a second and just add a couple more pieces. On this one here, you can see how he is. I put one under his wing, so on him I would probably put one there too. But it just gives him, um, a, it's a, just a little bigger piece of a dimensional. If you just have regular dimensionals, just kind of line them any place where they might get smashed. But you can see he's pretty safe. And this paper, because it's specialty paper, is a little bit thicker. So there you go. There's preview number one, and there's about 13 more to come if I can find the time. I also have, um, if you don't know, if you're not a demonstrator, my tool ribbon is in the next catalog. And part of the reason I had been so crossing my fingers, other than the fact that I love it, 
is that there was some stuff I wanted to do with it. And if you could see my little science lab experience experiment that's over on the side of my studio along with the giant mess, um, I am just in love with what I have done with the tool ribbon. Um, and for those of you that love tool ribbon, if you buy it from me, um, it's going to be super special in the future. So stay tuned for when I get around to filming that. So everybody have a great day. Bye.